You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. The game went on a rant about the fans that they are judgmental of him and other celebrities. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, check out new album reviews from Nas King's Disease 2 and Boldy James and the Alchemist Bo Jackson. Let's check out this audio, y'all. You know like, Hold on. Nobody give a fuck about what y'all saying. Nobody don't give a fuck about you saying a nigga too old for this and too young for that and somebody too big to do this or they shouldn't have their kids doing that or motherfucking like, like the shit y'all doing with, you know, doing the Lizzo, you know what I'm saying? Like got her crying on the internet and doing all that. Motherfuckers like, y'all fans, man. Y'all fans. Stay fans. Stay in y'all place, man. And you know what I'm saying? If somebody was motherfucking on your ass every day judging your motherfucking life, what would that look like? What would your house look like? What your age look like? Is you too old? You too young? You, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Huh? Y'all got too much motherfucking time to be worried about other motherfuckers' lives. And I understand that niggas celebrities and all that. Me? I welcome that shit. You can come on my page and say whatever the fuck you want. You can call me a fake blood. I'm too old. I'm too young. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck you saying, partner. I'm living my motherfucking life, nigga. Nigga, I'm young, black, and beautiful out here. I ain't never had a problem. Nigga, always been getting it my way, having it my way. Nigga, I'm alive. Nigga, and I'm well. My kids is beautiful, doing well. One going off to college. One too damn tall for her own good. She modeling. My other son play video games and get his schoolwork done. Fuck y'all. Who the fuck is you? Like, who the fuck is y'all, man? Who died and made y'all niggas important, man? All right? I don't give a fuck about none of that. So bring it to my page. Keep the hate going. Niggas ain't nothing but fans. Lizzo, you know I love you to death. Anybody else, Cardi B, anybody. Beyonce, J-Lo. Motherfuckers always got something to say about a motherfucker. But you the one that ain't shit. Nigga, you ain't shit. Alright? Alright, y'all. So you heard game. You heard what he said. <laughs> the um, fans, the people that troll ain't nothing. And how do I feel about this? I agree with game because you know what? It's easy to judge somebody from the outside. You know, you don't have to like a person's music. You don't have to like them because they're not on your favorite football, basketball team, sports team. You know, maybe that's not your favorite actor, actress, whatever it is. They're taking care of themselves. They're taking care of their families. They already have enough pressure they have to deal with over and over and over. You saw what people did with Chadwick Boseman when he was actually dying from um, the cancer, the colon cancer. People make fun of him, yada, yada, yada. Then they, oh my God, I feel so sorry for him. People calling game a fake blood. He know that people call him a fake blood. He knows that people say all kind of shit. They people probably say he's boo boo with his lyrics. Which game is a dope ass rapper. He's one of the best um, lyricists from the West Coast ever. No, by far I'm not even gonna lie about that. He's put out great music as far as his first album, the documentary, um, Devil's Advocate. Excuse me, Doctor's Advocate that came out in 2006. You know, um, he had more albums that came out, but the game has always dropped dope freestyles, mixtapes. He's been doing this thing, and I salute him. Look at he said he's talking about his daughter. His daughter is a model. His son is what going to college. His other son getting straight A's in school and plays video games. He's making his money. He's loving life. I don't know if he's married or not, but at the end of the day, he probably got a woman. He's probably married. You know, he can do what he want to do. He can get up and go buy some food. And not have to worry about what's in his bank account. He can do a tour if he want to go back on tour right now, make more money. So the game is doing him. That comes with the territory when you're a celebrity, when you're an entertainer. It happens. People are going to always talk shit. People are going to always judge you. You can't make everybody like you. Somebody going to talk about somebody like Rick Ross. Oh, that fool fat. Somebody's going to talk about Meek Mill. Oh, that fool can't fight. Somebody's going to talk about, like they said, Lizzo. Somebody's going to talk about Alicia Keys. Oh, she used to have acne. Somebody's going to talk about Jay-Z. He looks like a camel. Somebody's going to talk about Kara's one. He got a big ass nose. And I'm only saying it because people have said this type of, you know, these 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 um things about people, which is wrong. People are going to talk about Mayweather. Oh, F Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? That fool boo-boo. Or somebody's going to talk about well, whoever, man. It's like that. It's going to be like that. But at the end of the day, the people that talk bad about the celebrities, y'all not doing nothing to them. They're not losing no sleep over you. 
you know, they're going to continue to make money. They're going to continue to take care of their families. You know, y'all the ones who need to get your stuff together at the end of the day. And I'm in that category too. Just because I might not like something, I would never disrespect that person saying they ugly as hell and I hope they die. I hope they don't make money. I would never do that because me not liking somebody is not liking them for who they are. I might not like their music. I might not like the movies they was in, but I would never not won't. Um, I don't have malice on that person. There's no disdain in my heart towards celebrities like that. There's no reason because it's not like I have a personal beef with them. It's not like they try to put hands on me or something. That's totally different. But um, let me know what you let me know what y'all think about what Game said. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App. PayPal Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.